In this tutorial, we are going to be focusing on the slice tool, and that is located at the bottom of the layers panel. Here's the layers panel right over here, and it is the left button on the very left hand side. This little button is called the slice tool, and you will use this for a variety of different reasons. I use it quite often, but I'll show you two main reasons why you'll want to use it today. So the slice tool is responsible for slicing into an image and creating new cut lines or new cut paths. So you will use the slice tool when when you want to edit a image to make it do something different than it's doing right now. So for example, let's say we have two pieces right here and let's pretend that we are going to be making a coffee mug and we're going to have a scalloped circle and then we also want to have a B. But let's say that we don't want to have um, a piece of vinyl and then another piece of vinyl on top of it, but instead we want to have a scalloped circle with a B cut out of the center. What we can do is we can take both of our uh, little files here, we can place the B right on top and just get it centered. And what we'll do then is once it's centered is we will just highlight both of them. You can do that by just dragging over both of them and you'll see in the layers panel that you have the B selected or and you have the little scallop circle selected. Another way you can do it is I am working on my Mac, but I will just hold down the command button. I'll select my B and then I'll select my circle and then I'll have both of them and you can verify that over here. And then a third way you can do it is by selecting the B, clicking command on your keyboard and selecting the cutout just to make sure you have both layers selected. So one thing that's really important is before they're selected, you'll see that the slice button is not highlighted because we have nothing that we're working with right now. But once we go ahead and select everything, the slice button is now highlighted, meaning we can actually use the button. Now you can only slice two layers at a time. So I have two layers, one and two. So now that they're both selected, I can go down here and click slice. And once it's sliced, you can start removing the B and you'll see that you are left with an image that has a slice out of it. So instead of using two different colors of vinyl, you will then have one piece with the B cut out of it. So that's a really fun way to edit images. You could also, you know, put a little heart in here if you'd like, and I'll show you how to do that. So we could just go over here to the shapes box and we could add a little heart and we could size that down a little bit. And let's say we want to add just a little heart right here. Again, you can um, delete these right here because we're done with our little um, slices. So then again, you can only slice two layers at a time. So we're going to drag and just highlight both. We have our first layer, which is the scallop circle. And then we have our heart, which is our second layer. Come down here and click the slice button. And then we can remove the little slice results and delete those if we don't need them. And then we have a little slice in here as well. So make sure you're only slicing two layers at a time. You'll just take your time and do them in the process if you're going to be doing multiple slices. Another time you may want to use the slice tool, and one of the ways that I use it the most common is when I'm editing images. So for this image, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the O, and I'm going to keep the H, M, and E in this word home. Now you can go down and contour this out, and I have a tutorial all about that, but I sometimes like to just slice it out. It's really quick and easy. So what I can do is I can go to my shapes, grab a square, and then what I'm going to do is unlock it. And I'm going to make it fit over that O because when you are slicing, you are going to place your uh, shape over the area that you don't want to keep. So whatever you want to remove, you're going to place it right over that. And I'm going to make sure that I don't, you know, interfere with any of the other letters because wherever I slice, it's going to, you know, take off any of the other pieces. So now what I'm going to do is now that it is completely covered, I can go ahead and highlight and I verify that I have only two layers selected, that I can come down here and click slice. So then what I can do is I can now remove what I have sliced away and I'm left with the part of the image that I wanna keep. So for this, I can then go ahead and delete all of this because I don't need it anymore. And then I can go ahead and add a little wreath in the place of that O and make a little fun little design just like that. So that's another time that you may want to use the slice tool when you're just editing images. I hope this was helpful in learning a little bit more about how handy the slice tool is. Again, you can use it to create different little cut paths in an image. That way you can tell your Cricut where you want new cut lines to be located. Or you can also use the slicing tool to edit images and remove sections of the image that you don't want to keep. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and please be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future Design Space lessons that will be coming soon. And I'll see you all in the next video.